Hey everybody, it's Mike AK, that reseller guy, coming to you with another, another video on a Monday morning. Uh, it's going to be a little different today, so let's get going. All right, normally I come in here on Monday and I talk about what sold over the weekend and I actually did have a really good weekend of sales, but you're going to have to go over to that, that card guide channel to check that video out. I know a few of you still haven't subscribed to that channel, so please go over there today subscribe, watch that video, give it a thumbs up and let me know that you came over and checked out that channel too. I'd really appreciate that. Both this channel and that channel are coming in on some milestone subscriber marks. That one's, I, I've been talking about it for a while. I wanted to get by the end of last year, get that channel to a thousand. It just hasn't happened. Haven't been able to put the effort into that channel that I would really like to. Uh, and I think we're like 12 away, 12. If 12 of you that watched this video went over there and subscribed, I'd be there today. Let's do it. Uh, this channel is closing in on 3,000. I think we're almost at 2,900. So uh, that one's not going to get there today. That's not going to happen. Uh, maybe by the end of the year, who knows? Maybe we can hit that 3K mark, maybe the middle of the year. If I keep getting that 30, 40, 50 subs every month, we could get there. So uh, thanks, everybody, for coming and checking this video out, checking out that card guy and supporting me on both of those channels. All right, now what am I talking about today? Today we're talking about the listing blitz. What is a listing blitz? I don't know. That's just what I'm calling it. It's football. Super Bowl is coming up. Oh, sorry. The big game is coming up. Please don't get me with a trademark infringement for saying Super Bowl. Uh, yeah, so we're having a listing blitz here on that Reseller Guide channel. And what is a listing blitz? Well, as far as what I call a listing blitz, it means I need to get a boat ton, a ton of items listed here this month. Why? Because I want sales. That's why. Uh, so I started a little calendar back here to get items listed. Now, really, I just did that calendar before I did this video. I started my stuff on a sticky note uh, starting on the 1st of February. It's a leap year. We got 29 days in February. So we got an extra day to be productive this year, this month. And uh, I'm going to take full advantage of that. So what is my listing blitz? Why and what all that good stuff? Well, that's what we're going to talk about today. I really hope my microphone doesn't die during this video because I didn't charge it here the last couple weeks. So it usually lasts quite a while from what I've been seeing. So hopefully, fingers crossed, it's going to make it through the whole video. Uh, so what is my listing blitz? Well, it just means I need to get a lot of items listed every single day. Yes, weekends. Uh, everything included. So uh, we're on the fifth today, means I've had four listing blitz days so far. So for me, what that means is 10 items, 10, and uh, I don't care about what the dollar amount is. Now, of course, I want the dollar amount to be a million dollars a day that I'm listing. That's just not going to happen. Uh, so I'm trying to list a little bit of everything each day. I'm trying to list a few sports cards and then a few other items as well. I don't want to list just sports cards each day. I'm listing a few of those and other items. And so far, the results have been pretty good. So let me show you my little listing blitz calendar. This is official thanks to grabcalendar.com for letting me print this off of their website. Uh, so yeah, February 2024, 20, that's where we are now. Cross out the days that don't count. And you can see I uh, have 10 items each day. And so far, not too bad. 312, 278, 252, and 470. So Divide each of those by 10, you'll know what my average item listed was per day. The worst day was about $24 an item. The best one, $47 per item. So uh, I think we're going to continue being in that area of items because, like I said, I am listing some sports cards, and I think the stack of cards that I've pulled out to list uh, during this blitz is uh, stuff that's like $15 to $20 cards. So the average price isn't going to be huge each day unless I happen to have a huge thrifting uh, day and find a bunch of items that are that are more expensive. So, uh, so far, I've got a great start. Four days in, and I haven't broken my 10 days per item uh, blitz that I've started. Uh, so why am I doing this and all of this? Well, of course, we all I think we all know we need to list items to sell those items on eBay. That's a kind of a given, right? Uh, but I... Personally, I'm sure a lot of you too can get a little lazy sometimes when it comes to getting your items listed. Yeah, you might list that one really cool item that you had, or you know, two items this day, three items the next day, nothing the next day, and then maybe you have one day where you list 20 or 30. Nobody really knows what the eBay algorithm really wants us to do. We just all seem to say, I say we, meaning resellers and eBayers, uh, that they want us to be consistent and to do stuff every day, to be on the site, to be active. And that's what I do think we need to do. Uh, 
so far, I'm having some good results. Now, again, I'm only four days in. This isn't a double blind, triple blind study, so I know uh, what's going on. I just know what's going to work for me or what's going to happen to me because it's been happening so far. Uh, I started this on Thursday. Thursday was the first day. That was the 1st of February. So I had a good weekend to see if this plan of mine is going to come to fruition. Uh, that word, it's a hard word to say. Uh, so yeah, let me show you. I'm not going to talk about exact sales. Like I said, all the different items that sold, you're going to have to go over to that card guy because I did sell a lot of sports related items. So it's going to be good on that channel. Plus, I'm trying to make you guys go over to that channel and subscribe. Go subscribe. Uh, I know a lot of you have. Thanks, guys. I Honestly, I do appreciate y'all. Uh, so let me look at the screen. 23 items sold this weekend. Now, that's getting back to a year ago when I used to sell 20 to 30 some items per weekend. Three days, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, the sales. That was pretty normal to be 22 to 30 items. I was pretty much hitting that mark every single weekend. Over the past, I would say six months, I've had weekends of four sales. Yeah, four. I, mean, I have a store of 1,300 plus items and I had four sales one weekend uh, for like $50. It was ridiculous. Uh, yeah, not what you need when you're trying to be a full-time reseller. Uh, doesn't quite pay the bills the way you want it. Uh, but yeah, I've had weekends of 4, 12. You know, I think the normal lately has been like 13, 14, which is really pretty terrible. That's like four to five items per day on a weekend. Uh, and yeah, that's, I've had sales totals of two, three, four hundred dollars uh, I think that's about what I did last week. And I think last weekend was only a few hundred bucks. So, so far, it seems to be working. 10 items in per day. And sales have been better. 20, what did I say? 23 sales. And the dollar amount, did I tell you the dollar amount? I can't remember if I told you the dollar amount. The dollar amount was good too. Uh, $837. Now that's shipping and tax and everything that eBay includes on your little total screen. Now, everything that did sell wasn't necessarily items that I've listed over these four days. There were a few of them, of course, but there were some items that were in there that have been in my store two, three, four, six months, maybe even a little bit longer. Looking back here, let me see if there's anything that was in there super long. Yeah, there was some, at least one item that was in my store probably for two years that sold as well. So this is the start to the experiment. You're going to get an update every week as to how it's going to make sure that I'm sticking to my calendar here and getting those 10 items listed today. Hopefully some of you are doing this as well. I, I talk about it a lot. I do watch Lonnie and, and Candace over at Shed Flips and they do this almost every month. They've definitely been doing it here this last month and doing it again where they keep track on their little calendar how many items they list and for the dollar amount. Now, they have two of them. They get more listed. Their dollar amounts are higher. So as a one-person operation where I do everything, sourcing, shipping, listing, videos, I do it all. How much can get done? So that's why I'm sticking it at 10. I'd love to do 15 or 20 items per day, but it's just not feasible to get that done and still be able to do all the other stuff that I have to do to uh, run this business and this house as well. I hope you'll follow along on this little journey uh, of this month. and Hopefully it works well and I have some positive results because I would like to do this next month as well as long as I have you know 10 items data list. I mean, that's 300 items for a 30 day month. If I'm averaging that six to seven sales per day, my total listings should be growing as well, which is always good to have more stuff out there for people to find your store. Just because I can't not show you some items, uh, let's show you some stuff that I picked up here over the past week. Uh, I picked up a lot of stuff. A lot of it's going out to my collectibles booth. I know I got to get some more videos of, out about my collectibles booth, not antique booth. Uh, I am planning. They're, they're in the works. They're in these sketch stages of doing one about how to prevent some theft out at your booths, because that is a huge thing that happens out there, not just with me, with some of the other ones as well. I was talking to the manager the other day about uh, what you can do there and what stuff has been getting stolen the most out there. So a few little things to add and also how to increase your sales out at your booth, because I've been able to do that consistently through the, I think I've been there seven years now. And every year I've done more, my average sales per month has been higher and higher and higher every single year. So hopefully I can keep that going this year as well. Oh, but yeah, let me show you these items that I picked up. These are probably items that I will take out to my booth. I could ship them on eBay. It's to be determined because they are big when they're inflated. What am I talking about? Well, first up, we got this one here. We got this big inflatable Coors Light car, but 
it has like a bunch of different sections. So each wheel is its own inflatable. Uh, the top part is its own inflatable, and this one is not staying. So I have to do a little, do a little detective work. I'm gonna fill it up, and then I think you take like a spray bottle and start spraying it all over and looking to see where the water is bubbling, so you can see where your leak is, and then patch it. I think it's worth putting the time and effort into this to try to get it done, because this one I think sells for twenty to thirty-five dollars, somewhere in that range. If I were to sell it on eBay, of course, I would inflate it take the pictures and then deflate it for shipping. Uh, I didn't blow this all up by hand. I used a little air pump because there was no way I was blowing this whole thing up. Uh, I would have been gasping for breath if I did that. So hopefully I can fix this one. This is the number 40 Coors car. I think this one's pretty cool. Got Coors light down on the bottom. So yeah, I think someone would really like that for their uh, sports room, man cave, bar, whatever you want to call it. And along with that, we got the number eight. We got the Dale Earnhardt junior bud car budweiser yeah this i like this one more but i think this one's actually cheaper there was more of these out there on ebay the good thing with this is it holds all the air so that was a big plus uh this like i said this one's a little cheaper probably in that same range i probably wouldn't if i put these in my booth i'd put them for probably 25 to 30 dollars but i'd have to find a spot where i can put them up high because if they're down low everybody's going to handle them they're going to be all over the place they take up so much room Someone will put them just in the middle of my booth where people won't even be able to get in there. Honestly, uh, that's what would happen. So I'd have to find a way to get them up high and put a sign, say, like, ask employee for help getting them down and they can bring a ladder out or something. Do that. But that's just two of them. I got others. Uh, let me go up, come back here. I'm in my socks today. I didn't even put shoes on. All right. Let me see if I can get through. It's, it's like a, there's landmines everywhere around here. There's stuff everywhere. You should have seen this thing over the weekend. It was... It was horribly, horribly messy in here. The garage is too. Uh, but this one, this one might be my favorite. We got the Island Shuttle for Corona. I love Corona. Corona I love Mexican beers. Corona, Dos Equis, Lager, Amber. It doesn't matter. Uh, that's, that's my thing. So this one is actually pretty cool. I think this one's more expensive, probably like $40. So this I could easily get up in my booth, hang it up there in one of the corners with a sign on it. Although it would look pretty awesome in here, but... I'm trying to keep this as a sports and a Groot slash Rocket uh, collectibles uh, room. I don't need to go for the beer stuff too. But yeah, this this one was really cool. I really like that one. It helped that this one was only had one inflatable spot. So uh, it was easier to fill up. But yeah, I still use that air compressor because, yeah, I don't like blowing up all these uh, rafts and inflatables and stuff. So what do you think? Do you like the Corona one? I think that one, that one's pretty cool. Uh, there is one more, but I haven't gotten this one to inflate. It didn't want to blow up using the uh, the air compressor that I was using. So this one is a Rolling Rock beer. It says makes it game day. And this is a big football one. Obviously, it would be great to get this into my booth before the big game this weekend. Uh, but yeah, I, need to, I might need to try to blow this one up partially uh, on my own first. I don't know if there's maybe a big hole in it, but it just didn't want to blow up. So... Uh, I picked up all those this past week. I think they'll make for some good sales and some good, cool, unique stuff that makes people keep coming back to my booth. All right, that is it for today. So thank you all for watching. Go over to That Card Guy. Subscribe there. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't yet. Hit that thumbs up button. All the stuff that YouTubers say that you need to do during their videos, right? All right, thank you all for watching. I'll see you next time.